Mr. Button writes like Louis from the Ice Age. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> Okay, Gunn uses his backstories and past experiences to teach lessons instead of just the basic material like sheesh. It irks my nerves so bad. Oh well, wow. sorry. Mr. Dre, you mean Mr. Dre, oh stop. <laughs> Making me blush on that one, now the blood's rushing to my face. So, dear Miss Sutphin, people only pretend to like the birth of the day so they can get out of your terrible class. <laughs> Terrible? Really? You love the birds. Whenever I'm really bored in Mr. Gooch's class, I just look at the light reflecting off his slick head, and it makes time fly by. That's, that's really thoughtful. I'm, I'm glad that, wow, time flies by because you're looking at my head instead of the clock. I don't know how that works. But. So how many grimy Pop-Tarts does Mr. Kenyon eat in a year? Um, I eat two a day, so there are 106 176, I think, teaching days, so that's probably 350 something. Grimy <laughs> Pop Tarts I eat every day. <laughs> Strawberry chocolate frosted are my favorite. Mr. Becker acts like the world is ending and you're an idiot if you don't know the answer to a question. Maybe because he didn't teach it well in the first place. Oh, that cuts deep. Um, ouch. <laughs> uh, if you don't know the answer to a question, um, Frankly, the world is ending. It irritates me that everything that Miss Roberts says, she relates back to her son. I know everything about Jameson and haven't even met the kid. And clearly they don't know everything about Jameson because they spelled his name wrong. <laughs>